aware of time is 732 and um, our July meeting of the Royal CSD Board of Directors Safety Committee. Um, so they struck the county for the comment during the meeting in place in the meeting with the meeting chair request that the comment members of the public shall indicate their desire to speak. All of the comments shall be addressed to the board of directors and the minutes of the speaker. The board of directors may choose to respond to comments for professor staff to respond to conclusion of the comment period. Um, not even a quarter, we are all here. We need to change the tenants. All right, the agenda. Um, I have some edits that need to be um, approved. Uh, the chief is unable to make it. He's going to do a report. I'm just going to essay that off of the agenda. So no F, that is okay with everybody. Did you say essay? I thought it was You're saying it's more helpful to me? It's more helpful to me. I wrote a move. I wrote a move. I wrote a move. I wrote a move. Are we okay with that? All right. So um, I call, is there a motion to adopt the agenda? Yeah. All right. Yes. 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 Uh, so uh, last week while I was walking my dog, I noticed uh, we have another intrusion in the park. I took a picture. I emailed the staff. I emailed three of you. To be careful not to violate whatever. Um, anyhow, I asked that be on this agenda. And it seems like the pressing order of business we've got someone built has built a batting cage in a Ringwood Park. It's not on the agenda. It actually, the staff really needs to answer for it. They excluded it from the agenda. And I think you should be talking about it tonight. And if, if not, please explain why it doesn't get posted to the agenda. It's a legitimate piece of business. Um, so technically, I should be able to comment on when it's not on the agenda. Uh, so you're, you're I, excluding I, it from I, the agenda. Yes, I'm excluding it from the agenda. It's not on the agenda right now. We will address it. I can make comment when we're there. And we're specifically just going to adopt the current agenda. I cannot add things to it right now. So, you saw it before you, you, you were emailed. I, so I, I, I know, and I will, I will address it day. during the public oh, comment. Okay. Time. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I just like I said, I think I know the bad engagement he's talking about, and I, I know personally it's actually movable, it's temporary. So, in, in a way, it's getting built. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Hold on, this is not the right during the agenda, so we're not going to talk about it right now. We are adopting the agenda, all those in favor, adopting the agenda as is. And I, are those opposed? The agenda passes. We are moving on to the consent calendar, which I just see. Is there any questions to the board on the draft minutes in the last meeting or those being in? Thank you to the meeting for coming back and doing all that. Also, um, integrity of our parks and open space. Uh, I alluded to all of before uh, with intrusions in the park. We now have uh, given the backyard an additional 1,200 square feet to a neighbor who was allowed to pay our staff to build a wall in our park. In fact, they're celebrating the 4th of July back there. Um, nice people. The, the gentleman, uh, he's a very nice guy uh, who built uh, that batting cage. It's in our park. There have been, in the past, several attempts to build uh, patios in Marillion Park. And why is this being allowed to occur? Well, I'll tell you, we, we now know one of the reasons why it's allowed to occur is because, unfortunately, the board is allowing our staff uh, to be unaccountable um, for keeping the integrity of our parks in open space. It is unconscionable to me that you would exclude such a, uh, a basic uh, problem uh, from the agenda because maybe it was embarrassing. I don't know who you're protecting. I don't know who you're, you're, you're working for. But our tax dollars support the park. It supports our staff. It supports our programs. And if you're not doing the right thing by the taxpayers, you know, quite frankly, it would be uh, helpful if you resign because, because you really do have to represent the interest of the, the community, not special interest. Several years back, one of the things we're going to be talking about tonight is raises for our staff. And I would hope that you uh, ask some hard questions on the performance of our staff. Uh, I believe these intrusions uh, are just so unbelievably outrageous that they uh, are a cause of action. Um, I believe that uh, you all have, uh, everybody here that has a uh, good heart and wants to do the best for the district, but you really have to ask yourself, are you doing the best for the district? Thank you, Steve, for your comments. Do I have I would, I would just like to say that with regard to what he's saying, is there any record of, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is there any record of complaints, yeah. complaints coming to the district from these issues that he's talking about? And it's probably part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I would just like to say, I know that the Park District encourages recreational opportunities, that's part of the mission of the Park District, and with re regard to what the previous speaker was saying about um, intrusions into the park, I would just like to say I hardly think that something that is clearly movable and temporary that was built towards the end of the pandemic for a 12 and 13 year old boy that, you know, baseball facilities were closed down, um, it was just a matter of 
keeping the spirit up and you know practicing. And it is, like I said, clearly movable. If you move out of the way, there's no obstructions at any of the, uh, the park district facilities, trails, uh, any of the residences. Um, and I just think it's absolutely outrageous that you would sit here and consider something like that an intrusion that's similar to putting up a volleyball net for the day and playing, but you know, leaving it up overnight. Um, but uh, you know, like I said, it's temporary and kids grow up pretty quick and it'll be gone quicker than you'll know. So that's all. Thank you very much. Yeah, I would like to add a little bit to that. Um, so you have to say that if you put it up after the pandemic and at the end of the pandemic, and then line drive is the only place that kids can go, and it falls, and then line drive goes down, and the teams, you know, have their one bad occasion at LCO. So we put that up, and we we've got a teaching machine so that everybody can, you know, practice. Uh, like I said, it's not permanent. I don't know if you've seen it, you walk by it. It's very far off of that trail, and David actually picks up the extranet uh, from dogs that live in that area, and he actually mows that area down. So he's maintaining it as well. Um, and it's not hurting. It's really not hurting anybody. It's it's really enjoyed, and it's not hurtful anybody. Nobody's getting caught up in it. And, yeah, everybody that walks by, like, what is that? It's a bad cage. That's great. That's great. So we were just tired of taking our kids to Petaluma um, and then paying 65 bucks for half an hour at that bad cage. So um, we decided to put all that money and just build it ourselves. Um, I would like to talk about the sitter box. I think those are beautiful. I think it beautifies our, our neighborhood. I think he took something that was ugly and he made it beautiful. So that's all. Um, yeah, I was going to email. So, staff is aware of this. Um, it has, as pointed out, not hand on over the past several years. It's usually not up for very long, but it is out there. It's full bag, it's full There's nothing permanently inspected. There is no, nothing's been installed in the ground, no changes to the park area. I did speak with, uh, with the owners today, actually, and uh, had a very pleasant conversation and informed them that they just, we received a complaint on this. We haven't received other complaints. They actually offered to immediately like, look at the back video. We have some full time. I do agree with the statement, but they said that it's temporary. I don't see how it's any different from somebody with a volleyball net in the middle of the field and start playing volleyball on it. That's what they want to use. Again, they were uh, very understanding, very appreciative that we had uh, said something to them. Uh, Pretty much the uh, design permanent structure up there is 100% out of the way. Uh, it doesn't represent the hazard or obstruction of the structure. I think you got, you got the email from Stephen, and then you spoke about the email from the sports and the sports and therapy which went on. It is not on the agenda because, to our view, this was brought up, it was discussed, it is not an issue, it does not need to be an agenda item, and we are now going to move forward unless anybody else has any questions about this. Okay, moving on. Oh, but I have one thing that I want to just add that the proper measures were made yes. of our staff handling it and it not becoming an agenda item, yes. um, as we trust our staff and you, you know, you guys had a pleasant conversation and it's not an agenda item. Well, you know that this is the first interaction that they have with them. Oh, trust me. Yeah. I'll be here to see you. Well, I've never next door. Come by. But you talked to me before. Okay. With um, several long-term neighbors that have since moved out. Right. Okay. Yeah. No. And in general, things are emails to board members and Eric are Eric was sent to them and the other one actually gave them to them. It's not necessarily going to dictate what they come to us. Right. Yeah. Please feel free to always reach out to Eric. Okay. Yeah. Here. Get to us. Other director. Is it you're new? Like, ish. Ish. No, ish. I think it's been. I know. I know. All guys, you know that. Do the maintenance and stuff, but it yeah. must be in the office. Tell me the office. Yeah, all the emails. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. I can't believe my time. I'll be working it over here as long as possible. I'm sorry to meet you. Oh, you missed something. I know you will. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah, we did present last March, uh, kind of a little bit more in the spirit of what policy is and what we would be able to do moving forward, and that we have been able to incorporate that into the draft budgets as we move through so you can see the impact as it happened in the budget, uh, and that would be how we go forward, but those became effective uh, in the last month. And when's the last time we did any, we did any adjustment, but we haven't done a whole book with this and adjusted the steps and all this. Uh, well, this is how we do it every time because they are on step system. Okay. I can move the entire scale when you do it. This is a, you know, that, that is your base schedule, so that's what you have to go by. As mentioned in here, you actually only have two positions outside of our part-time hourly positions that are on base schedule. Uh, that would be myself, and I operate on contract board, and the this position is also uh, within the yeah, assistance within a range, and that's how it was established uh, purposely when that position became a full-time position. Uh, and I would point out, too, that I, I'm putting that position in here more for just transparency and openness sake, so you can see the pool. It keeps it within that range, and within that range, uh, that's a, Require board action to keep salary in that range when we came to the board and said, I want to increase this range. Okay. I included here just so you saw the pool and that was whatever anything was. Do we need a whole separate agenda item to change titles? Um, I would, have to, I would have to get back at you to really say that. I mean, you did approve the position a while back where I've heard mixed on that, to be honest with you. I'm happy to follow the council and be just as honest on you. Then I'm happy to make that move and I'll just change the job description title from an assistant to this. I mean, I wouldn't change anything else having to do with job description. Yeah, you didn't change the job description. I would be, be surprised if you had to. It would be strictly title. I'm happy yeah. to make that move. But it makes it easier in terms of making sure we have parallels and if. Much work. I don't have to keep, keep work anymore. If, if anything happens and we need to place them in the right. team, it would be easier to then approve using right. the standard. Uh, no one thinks that anybody else has. Well, I mean, I didn't do exactly right. I did talk to some colleagues, uh, and Tiffany's position is typically found in the finance department and other places where it is a finance department and other places isn't necessarily, uh, or some parts of what she does is in the HR department because she also handles all of our payroll and administration too. So it's uh, uh, just calling it admin administration. So when it first came on, that position, that's really what it was. And helped, you know, it was a 15 to 20 hour a week position 15, 20 years ago when it uh, kind of was developed and as the district has grown up uh, and our business has increased, mm -hmm. that position has grown as well. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I'd like to make a motion to adopt. Second. Okay. Um, all those in favor of approving the recommended case schedule adjustments for non-representative full-time positions? Aye. 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 Just let us know if we do. I will. I don't think we do. And if there's anybody else who needs their titles adjusted to this. Um, uh, I'll follow up with our council on my own. Because, again, we're not changing responsibilities or job descriptions, just the title of the job itself. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's just the title of the job itself. Okay. And then you can just do it. Yeah, we'll do it. All right. Moving on to district manager report. Eric, you can continue talking. Uh, yeah, just a couple things. We've been doing a super busy month, but more just on the uh, general administration of, uh, say, of, uh, of the agency here uh, with uh, a lot of people out. Uh, on the FEMA, I mean, we keep moving along. Uh, we've submitted all the things we can submit at this point in time, all the environmental regular, regulatory agencies. We started to get some comments and back on that, making revisions. Uh, I've been communicating actually with our FEMA rep today, so we are scheduling a formal site inspection while they will come out to uh, circuit with a separate team just to look at the damage um, and, and kind of build their own assessment of what the damage is and what uh, potential cost could be to repair. Uh, however, uh, they will still take into account once we submit our plans for repairs, just to send people out to understand why we're proposing what we're proposing. Uh, we have still been in contact with the county. Uh, I'm actually expecting within the next uh, week to have several designs completed on the wall as well as uh, the final uh, uh, waterproof membrane that's going to go on the exterior of the maintenance facility. Uh, and then uh, we've already got feedback from the environmental uh, agencies about some of the channel work uh, in the Africa channel. So that's coming along as quick as we can. Uh, we're actually hoping to be able to have a uh, request for bids out ideally this month. Uh, and so we're building a vendor list. Uh, we, have, uh, we have to send it out to large groups, but we're also going to send it to very specific vendors in addition uh, that we know are qualified to do this type of work. I and mean, all of this is going to get bid out as one job. Uh, we're not creating three different projects here. This, yeah. The entire school works going to fall under one bra. Uh, and then it comes to the kids and children's standard and this type of work. So uh, otherwise, I just want to bring my uh, fire department staff. It's been an issue for a little while. Um, we actually had a situation for the first time in many, many, many years where we had to run a two-man engine company because we did not have a third person available because people uh, on pre arranged vacation dates and Sarah Bell having similar issues, having to pull back a Sarah Bell firefighter who had volunteered to do a shift with us. They needed to do a shift over there, and that's the way that works. Uh, I say all this saying that actually just uh, on Friday afternoon, we actually got another application for a very qualified app who uh, we've done a little bit of follow-up on. We're going to be bringing him in for an interview uh, ideally for the next week or so. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we clarified that. Nice clarified that. And so, uh, but this is just more of a heads up. There's no action or anything we take, but I have to sit down and talk to the fire captain. I have a meeting with the uh, deputy chief Roman from Santa Fe. We're going to discuss this a little bit farther uh, next week, slated. Uh, we're just going to try to look at uh, some other potential strategies. Uh, I don't want to miss anything, but we're just going to think outside the box. And maybe it is a firefighter, uh, EMT firefighter, who was currently in paramedic school. And uh, we were hiring them, uh, getting some level of assurances that you know, we hire you at this level. Once you achieve your paramedic, you'll stay with us for X number of years, so on and so forth. So uh, we are working on all of that, just trying to think of ways to build that final thing in position. Uh, because we did have a, uh, an off duty injury to another firefighter that's going to put him out for probably another four months, uh, at least, uh, the, uh, towards the yeah, and, uh, and this was just a real free thing yeah. for him, too. It's not like he was out doing incredibly dangerous activity. It just it happened. It was off duty, but he's out of work for a while um, with a giant space agent. Yeah, no, it's fine. But uh, we're helping him out, too, making sure because, you know, they do have a long-term disability insurance available for that, so we'll make sure that he's get access to all of that and uh, get all the needs to show them. So, uh, and my point being, though, is that fire department staffing, uh, we can't get this all soon. It is becoming a yeah. We just got to get on it. Okay. All right. Anybody have any questions about the fire department? How, um, so, so have you been seeing any, anything from Calops um, that resource that you have for posting roles? I mean, is that helpful at all? Uh, not as lot, a lot right now. I mean, by the time we had domain, we really also wanted to use it for the rec department, but yeah. Robin and Benji also for hiring guns, so they didn't have a lot of uh, posting need on that. Uh, not a lot thus far through uh, uh, the fire, fire position that we have open, but a lot of other agencies who use Calops didn't use these other boards to advertise their Calops posting, but since we already had posting and direction, 
they're looking for email applications and built that. I would like to not to change that and push them over to them to do it. Uh, I, I might see how this other energy goes, especially if we're start changing up what we're putting out there. They might push more people to the CalOps process. It was just one of those things that by the time we were able to get in there, we already had a process going. Uh, so it just it was, uh, and, you know, you should probably speak more offline about this. I don't know the picture right now. I think it's just kind of changing up a recruiting process and move to it, which we might be doing here. So it might make sense that that would be a good transition time to just take those other postings that we put in other places uh, and steer them towards the CalOps site for all their, you know, complete the application process and submit that way. Uh, 100%, uh, 100% agree. I just uh, wish that we could have them on board when we, when we push and start moving and yeah. doing all of this. Uh, yeah, but again, if, uh, if this uh, next interview doesn't work out for whatever reason, then again, we'll sit down, we'll uh, run out of brains on what makes sense and what we can do to get somebody in, and uh, like somebody who's just quite a paramedic, but is an accomplished firefighter working for a paramedic. Uh, uh, I guess I had a question, but it's not in Mr. Manager report, and I was wondering if you had any things to tell us about the playground. Uh, the playground's in contract, parts have been ordered. Uh, Luke and I had a uh, online meeting with the uh, uh, with the vendor to finalize all the color palettes and everything else. I mean, you forget, you know, there's a million parts and a million different colors, but at the end of the day, it really kind of went with the same color scheme that they presented originally. Um, it did pull up some pictures to get some clarification on, you know, when you look at a CAD drawing versus uh, actual pictures that some of the ones that they submitted and just saying, okay, so that's more of what the real color is going to kind of be. Um, you know, it was less orange and more tanny, uh, so we were happy about all that. Uh, so no, it's ordered. They are, we are fully in contract. We received everything from them, all of their insurance, all their department certificates, uh, their bonds uh, that were needed. It's, it's wrapped, so uh, equipment's been ordered, and now we're just anticipating, uh, you know, they say, 16, 18 weeks, you just never know how long it takes, but uh, you know, we're still all hoping for an October completion, but uh, if delivery pushes us into a little bit in November, that's okay too. So if it's an October completion, how long is it like seven weeks or two that you installed? Yeah, I think it was um, around two weeks. Yeah, yeah. 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 because uh, you got to uh, incorporate the demo for that. Yeah, too. and there, we added in the whole chip thing, right? So, that's awesome. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Anybody else have any other questions about this tomato report? Nope. All right, and you're speaking up as we decided to remove it. Excuse me, I'm here. We're going to move on to Parks and Recreation Management, Recreation and Park Maintenance Activity. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, summer's been off to a great start. Uh, we just finished up over the door fifth week, kind of the way point through our, um, our summer season. Uh, camps are going extremely well. Uh, it's, been, it's been a really great summer camp season so far. Um, staff are fantastic. Um, everyone's just been uh, great attitude. We've seen a lot of special events. Some field trips have gone really smoothly. So uh, we're very, uh, very pleased with how the summer's gone so far. Um, I've had three kids in the camp in the summer. They've all had blasts. So we'll see it from that perspective as well. Uh, so we're really excited. We are. We have a good meeting with the camp directors yesterday. Um, we've got uh, a lot of big plans to kind of um, do a extra special things we get in the second half of the summer. Very pleased with that. Uh, the program has brought some cars to the pool. Things are running really well at the pool. Some lesson enrollment is basically full. Our parts and training program, um, I think that one of the series, among the top three uh, years we've ever had in terms of back to the program's project. So that's been uh, great. Because the cars and training programs for um, like middle school age, I'm getting interested in being at the pool, you know, the office lesson program. And I would say probably 75% of our staff like, staff um, to the training program. They were at each other's great year for our future staffing needs, which is fantastic. So I think the board are running really well. And we just had our second music in the park last Friday, uh, but before, before it's all this year, um, Friday's was a really uh, fun event. It was um, kind of a celebration of women in rock and roll music, and our um, kind of Julian guest musician that came up and sang and played different instruments. It was a logistical nightmare for the sound guy. Thankfully, that wasn't me, <laughs> and I uh, didn't have to uh, do a lot of it. Um, it the, the band was really good, and we got actually a really big crowd. You can see that. We got a lot of new people at the event that we don't normally see in the neighborhood. It was fun. 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 So, we're looking forward to the next two that will be happening uh, first Friday and the first Friday in August. Um, before that happens, is our, our next event, our summer group fest, taking place on July 22nd, uh, Saturday, 3 to 7 in the park. And we've got a great event planned for this group fest. We've um, we have 10 or 11 breweries coming, a couple of breweries donations, and we'll have um, volunteers making those stations, but the rest of the will be there. We have uh, a forest fire barbecue, we'll be providing food again this year, and then we'll have um, a live music uh, happening for the event as well. So we're finishing our pilot, because all the details are bad, make sure we don't have to sell that up. Um, we'll that the weather is nice, not too hot, but it looks like it's going to be, uh, as of right now, it's going to be really big. So um, we'll be within that, and that's uh, beautiful Saturday. And then uh, other things around the right department, uh, the summer takes up 99.9% of our, our time, and we are starting to work on our fall schedule classes program. And, and and sort of together the fall winter catalog and get all of those classes lined up and schedule together and a lot more details will be offered as well uh, in the next meeting. But it's all working on that as well. Uh, the parts inside, well, um, today we got our new lawnmower uh, today and um, uh, we got to, yes, it's a very big move. Yes, it's a lawnmower that three days Marco, actually. Marco's been here for years. And so, um, Thank uh, you guys for everything. Thanks so much. Yes, that yes. You're welcome. Um, so it's uh, the, new, the new machine is um, uh, it's a really nice machine. So, so this was something I have a long term. It has lots of attachments and we talked about it in three years. So it can mow, it can carry, it can trench, uh, and it, it'll be a good lawnmower, it'll be able to be a small tractor and a tool trailer and do. Um, up to like 30 different things, we're not going to know that, but uh, right now it's going to be a huge uh, efficiency improvement for, for us in setting our rentals and, um, and increase the kind of everything to the to the turf part. Uh, this happens to the first time I've got three walkers, we're ready to have a tutorial, and we've got to ride it and try it out, and it's, um, it's a really nice machine. But I, for me, the, my biggest thing I'm most excited about is um, the fact that it's got state of the art shops, and it's we've got a lot of rentals out there, we got a lot of bucks, and I know the deal one more was, um, was not very coming to the backs of our, our staff, and so this one, they were all like, ooh, this is smooth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I'm really excited that they'll have a much more comfortable time. Uh, it's part, so uh, that's, that was pretty exciting. I thought about it uh, today, but we got so we'll be going along with the new machine uh, this week and follow up on the So big so can you make it last three years? Uh, oh, I think it lasts forever. Okay, just almost. Well, that was all. That's right. Uh, so other uh, other things going on on the parks department. Uh, the group spent time out in the Park and the parking space and the state improvements and lots of meeting. Uh, the um,
problems would have been Russia and the investment treaties. And I think there was much more in the accounts, uh, much more making old mistakes that you look at before. So um, we'll work on that in the future. Of course, I hope that we get some of that done. Um, upcoming projects with the um, staff, we're, we're focusing um, on the North of the Park, we have the shipping containers during the uh, river courtyard. Um, so I'll be new irrigation lines in place to be able to uh, replace turf in a large part of the area. We'll also be putting in uh, some senior picnic table convention in um, the walking path there. So we're working on that to scrape back chips and prepare the ground for picnic turf in the water. So that's one of the projects we'll focus on. Are you are you going to relocate the Gaga Ball Court back to where it used to be, um, so they can take advantage of that really nice fence for the kids to sit down while they're waiting? Uh, absolutely. The, uh, the, actually, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have to see the options out of my goal. The Gaga Ball Pit is, is well loved here behind us, next to the classroom, but it's a little too big. It encroaches on the path in a couple of places. So the plan is to take this one and put it uh, back in its original spot at the end of the park, and potentially get a smaller one that we can put here. Gaga Ball is one of the most popular activities that our campers do, and it's also used in our uh, after-school program and our preschool program, and members of the public are seeing using the Gaga Ball Pit on the weekends and after hours. So it's actually a very popular feature of our park, and so um, I think uh, if we had another one, uh, we would just increase on the opportunities. My kids have to have a Gaga Ball throughout the campus. We'd be happy about that. So um, that's the plan. We'll we can acquire that project accounts. Are we going to use those chips? Can we use them? The ones that we're screening back from the park? Yeah. Yes, uh, we absolutely will. We have lots of places that we'll use them. There's other chips, yeah. and they will um, definitely be used in the park. So, and those are not engineered where there's actual wood chips, so we can't use them. They're not the ground. Okay. Uh, that was my question. I was like hoping. Uh, they're also mixed in with a lot of soil and dirt okay. stuff. But um, yeah, there'll be lots of places that we use those. We'll be debating for uh, settings, and so we have lots of spots. We're going to go back to the tennis courts for now, but we'll use them you know, in different places uh, in the coming weeks. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's, all, that's all I wanted to report on. Are there any other questions? I have one, and I don't mean to open up Pandora's box with the minions. I thought that we, I'm sorry, um, we're only going to do the ones out here, not the other ones. What made the change? The, uh, we had some funding left over in our tree budget uh, before the end of the fiscal year, and we uh, had some, some dead trees that we had to deal with earlier in the season, and we had a couple more that were, were spotted that we didn't want to be falling on the roadway. And so, so it's not an option to go in there and take care of some of those trees, and while they're at us, hey, can we just clean this up you know, so it's like nice over in the meantime? So it's not something that we're necessarily going to suppress, and we're going to be out there doing this, but uh, this thing will make things look better for a long time, and um, it's, it's literally that we don't do like regular weekly maintenance on the road with our state contractor, but um, that's not going to clean up the, the brushes encroaching on the roadway, and um, you know, it makes it a little bit better during the fiscal year. So that was definitely logical. Maybe we can reach out to people that are actually trying to do those things. I don't know. This plan was in the works yeah. before that uh, got done, uh, and this was a matter of when they could actually come out and do the work. Yeah. Uh, we didn't spend a ton of money on it, $2,000. I was going to say, it's more uh, Pandora box for the community when we're right. saying, then we don't manage that, we don't manage that, and then we just handled it, but if we got it to a nice place to hand off, that's perfect. Yeah, that's, okay. that, that's basically the, the plan. And again, you know, as far as the county goes to, as you know, I told the residents, it's, it's uh, you know, be careful what you ask for, kind of thing, because maintaining landscape to uh, roadway medians isn't their priority in any stretch, yeah. uh, their priority part saving roadway medians. Uh, and where that particular one is, again, you know, to this point, we had a little extra, and uh, had already had this contractor working on a couple other projects for us, so uh, you know, add that into the piece for us. Too. So it does, it does look a lot nicer, it's a lot more safe, it's a lot more open, and uh, all the dead brush has been pulled back. They did, they did a good job for it, and now it's in a good place to uh, make it easy for the responsible parties to continue to maintain. Okay. I know, there are big long moments, we all have well, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> all right, um, we are on H4 number of items of interest. I don't even request for future agenda um, items from anybody. I'd like to find in and, and wish Tiffany a happy birthday. Oh, you want to have the next one without the mom? No. Does anybody else have any items of interest they would like to attend? I would like to make sure that either the position change or whatever is addressed and put on our next agenda if needed. Or just a note saying that this is a standard report saying that they need to. Correct, you don't want to put that again. That's true. Anything else? For next, I, I would like, I mean, you're going to have to update us on the fire manager. Fire person, excuse me. Um, fire, fire person. I was trying to be. Fire person. Uh, <laughs> um, right. uh, another thing I'm going to add next month, we'll have prepared for you a kind of a pre audit, uh, end of year uh, penal statement for the operating side. Okay. Uh, just like we always do, obviously, you'll have a chance to look at how the year ended uh, from a uh, revenue expense standpoint uh, for operating expenses. Uh, so all that will be put together next year and we'll have updated uh, tax rolls. And take a very quick peek at uh, as we're still getting trickled in, uh, and we've either you know, we're meeting or exceeding from a tax perspective all projected revenues. So we're going to. And I guess my only other thing would be um, any more updates about. Something going on, if going forward, where we are with our trail. Like, uh, the not, so not the deputy property, but with the other, because right, we're waiting to see. They have oh, the I, road, yeah, I don't know where that's going. I can reach out to the county planning and the planning department. Well, there's no bridge, so. There's no bridge, yeah. It's not moving that much. It's not moving that much. I just thought maybe, you know, keeping it. Yeah, so we can know. Just this year at all. It's not going to happen. No, we're still moving forward on the CQA related studies, too. And when those are done, we'll put all that together. And then regardless of where they sit on that, we would move more towards from that point. Depending on what the CQA studies tell us, we would move more into the outreach and things of that nature, too. All right, perfect. All right, I um, move to adjourn this meeting and the next date of our regular meeting is August 8th. Thank, Thank you, everybody. Happy Thank birthday. You. Thank you.